standard stuff going on here, Dracos. We've got Nara into Rennington. We've got Silas into Akali. We've got Zaya into Rel. And now we're about to find out what jungle matchup we have. But there's the Alistar locked in. Removed. Even things like the Relold can be useful in these fights when you have a Mega Nar. So we'll have to see how he uses those in fights. The mid push will be contested. Cody actually winning out on these trades. Quick level three immediately That's goes a solo in. kill. First blood for Cody. Window to maximize on trades. Missing that though. And he's still gonna go for the play. Meanwhile, bot lane also getting aggressive. Utapon, that's the turn back from White Lotus. That's the chain CC. Yeah. Kazu, what are you doing? White Lotus takes waiting it Waiting in the darkness. White Lotus, no level six quite yet. If he gets it, much easier for him to survive. But here comes Steel. Ultimate can't come in. White Lotus, where is he gonna go? Waiting to flash. That's the knockback initially. But Steel, Steel. still tanking the tower. He has to back away and. TFM, a bit of a fumble. That was day one key at Cloud9, Kadrel. We're here for the kills. We said these teams were going to force. They're going to force. Now we go. Fight immediately kicking off. Arya going to have to use the ultimate soon to try to make his way out of this one. But Soul Tank on the way in. Can't use the Renekton up before he gets taken down. Cody yes, just barely able to make it out alive. Solid Snake comes in to save the day just in time. Fight on top side, though. Heavy going to be in trouble. Ignite now ticking. One more auto needs the empowered. Ooh. Minion body blocks the boulder. That surely would have finished the job. Yeah, it definitely would have. I think if he would have died there if the boulder hit him, gets definitely blocked. Find a re engage when they want to. But Steel's on the bot side. I'm not sure if he got spotted. I think he did. Steel just trying to force Solid Snake spots him, but Solid Snake pulling further and further ahead. They have to make this play work or it'll turn against them. Going in immediately onto White Lotus. They know that the ultimate is gone and they are here to punish. DFM strike back. Steel they love to fight. We've said it already. They love to force big uh -oh. plays. Kugak's now going to be in trouble. Looks like Arya's waiting to see who's going to tank the tower. They're going to try to trade it back and forth. TP now being used. They're just instantly going to one-shot Bugak. Solid Snake. Test that one. Yeah, I think Infinity had loads of windows to take this dragon. They are going to end up picking it up at 13 minutes in the game. That means the dragon soul is quite a way away. You know, 20 just yet, but they're trying to collect a crash in here now. If he's pushing it in, steals here. Arya's here. Solid Snake's read the play, but it's a 2v3. Bugak's going to be in trouble. They're just going to instantly one-shot him. Solid Snake, there's just nothing to do. Udi are a very powerful champion, but he should not have walked up to find the stun. Immediate double kill for the side of DFM. Kill and a tower cracked open. Arya doesn't have TP. Cody does. He could match it here. Okay, X Mini Nar. The rage is going to start to stack up. He's going to hop out back, but Evie just walking in. It should be an easy kill pack. He just doesn't have the time to transfer. But not at an item disadvantage. This is going to be so very difficult for the side of Gillette Infinity. Any kind of scrappy skirmish to give anything up. So far, just waiting for them to show. Both Udyr and the Silas is going to collapse. They have the Herald that they want. This is the cross map that they need. Trading gold for neutrals. They need to be the ones getting their solo laners ahead. And this tower for Cody will help him push out the waves to tier two and collapse mid first. Total control at the bottom. Just side, as strong. But he's TPing. But he's doing as I say that, he's looking for a fight. He's unconcerned with what you have to say. The Rel, the Hecarim combo. Solid Snake used. The Tractor Pell already procced initially. Oh. That's the follow up. Kazu with a clean engage. It's an absolute meat grinder. Renekton slicing and dicing through the team. Heavy on the backside, but Kazu will go down. Meganar coming in. Tied up. Well played by the side of DFM. Yeah, you've seen lots of cross mapping happening in here. You can see the bot side vision for DFM. He's going to back off. And Booga X won't find this kind of. 1v1 kill, but on the bot side. Now going in, he's going to find the snare. Ackerman, Solid Snake looking for the setup, but they don't have a wave here. They have to pull the trigger on the dive soon. The wave's coming in, though. Arya just going to step forward, though, into Cody. The stun does now connect. He's trying to turn it back. The healing is there. Arya now dashing out to safety. Double dash, stride breaker. Not enough. Ackerman finds the kill. Ackerman takes him down, flashes in, and now they're going to get this bot tier one. This is the cross maps we need to see from Infinity. Start diving them back. Kind of trick. Tr DFM might have to give up the mid push. He's now stepping up. They've Here spotted him now. They're just going to try to collapse on him before the fight can even kick off. They're going to try to one-shot Kazu and make sure that he can't get anything done. But in the meantime, Ebi is stepping forward. INF peel back flawlessly to make sure they give up nothing. They take Kazu, and now they're ready to take the fight. Ebi on the retreat. But here comes Cody. Second proc of the ultimate. He's waiting. He goes golden. He buys a bit more time. Arya trying to get out. Double dashes, but goes right oh. back in. Cody on a tear. That's a double kill. And Bugax back for a little bit of revenge. The triple for Cody. He's looking to finish the job. That's the slow. Does not connect on the Gnar. Utapon running for his life. The heal to take him out to safety. But it is too little. It is too late. That is the shutdown for Gillette Infinity. They take the fight. DFM overreach in the fight. Steel engaging on one side. Kazu getting caught on the other. White Lotus was able to peel back. And from there, Cody, MVP of the fight, take away, takes away the Akali ult, chases them all down. DM, DFM run for the hills, but it looks like Infinity is going to get the Baron, and the game has swung into their favor. Incredible. Kedro, I cannot wait. Such a clean fall from the Silas. Using everything, item, actives, abilities, maximizing the value out of this champion. Part of the reason we 4K rather in the favor of Gillette Infinity. How much more can they get with this Red Bull Baron power play is the question. Tier twos feel guaranteed when you have they a have Baron. Very button. short ranged wave clear, so that means Infinity can start chunking these towers down. Neither of these teams, really, when you look at it, have a ton of reliable wave clear. There are no control mages on either side. 
So for now, for Gillette Infinity, they just get to walk into the base. DFM do not have the tools TP to hold in. on. TP could be massive, though. Here comes the Akali. That's immediately Kazu getting the fight kicked off. The stolen Hecarim ult. Where's it going to go? Zayat going into the air, trying to hold on. White Lotus still living for now. Ghost Golden buys a bit more time, but Arya is here in the midst of everyone. He's going to finish at least one. Goes back in. Bugax eyes on him, but the stun is there to deny any potential follow-up. Evie off to the side, but he's just hitting Solid Snake. It is not a priority target. It is not the fight that DFM want. It is the fight that will win Gillette Infinity this game. Baron Buff backing them up. An inhibitor down. Arya holding on for dear life. The stun will not be enough. Baron buffed minions pushing in, and Gillette Infinity have done it. They will take down Detonation Focus Me in their first game of MSI 2021. Evie, yeah, Evie's trying his best to try and defend these towers, but he's going to get taken down. The respawn's coming in for Kazu. Utapon's up in 10 seconds, but I think Infinity have done it. They have the Baron buff. They have four members hitting onto the Nexus. Utapon's alive now, but I don't think he can stop this siege. Really good team fights from Infinity. The double TP from DFM was too late. By then, Utapon had fallen, and from there, Infinity clean house.